Okay. Uh, we've been learning about what happened in the early church. Um, at one point, the Bible says that uh, Herod and the Pharisees killed James, the brother of Jesus. Now, there were actually several James in the Bible. Two were disciples, um, and Jesus had a brother named James. He had four brothers, and he had a brother named James. And this was the, the brother of Jesus, James, was killed. And when Herod saw that that made the Pharisees happy, he arrested Peter and threw him in prison, and he fully intended to execute Peter, too. He, he was going to off him. Uh, but while they were getting around having their trial and all of that, uh, one night, while Peter was asleep, an angel came in his prison cell. And the... Sorry, I'm trying to... Yeah, where my phone is having the same technical problems we were having with the music. It, it's, it's been very weird. Well, so now it's facing the wrong direction. I don't and, know. and I thought I heard it disconnect when I came up here. So, yeah, just if you can answer it, answer it, and then just hold it. If you're not, I'm going on. Anyway, the angel showed up in the cell with Peter and woke him up. Said, hey, Peter, get up. Well, Peter thought he was dreaming because he was sound asleep before. He, he thought he was dreaming. The angel told him to, to get your coat on, get your shoes on. we got to get out of here. The chains fell off of Peter's hands. He got up, and he followed the angel. He followed the angel out the door of his cell, out the door of the whole prison, through the gate. He did not realize that he was awake until he was outside the gate of the prison. And then it dawned on him, you know what, I'm not asleep, am I? This is real, this is happening. And, um, <laughs> distracted by the phone. Uh, it's still not connected. Is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> Push the green button. Uh, uh, he went to the house he knew that the church was gathered in. And this is interesting, the church was gathered together and they were praying for Peter's release because they knew there was a good chance Herod was gonna execute him the next day. So they're praying for him, Peter goes up to the door. Where'd my Peter go? I lost my Peter. There he is. <laughs> Peter went up to the door of the house and knocked on it and a young lady named Rhoda, and we don't know why God gave her name in the, in the book of Acts, but she went to the door. She didn't open it. She asked who was there. And he said, it's me, Peter. She got so excited, she forgot to open the door. She ran back to the people who were praying for Peter's release, told them, Peter is standing at the door. And they said, shh, we're praying for Peter's release. No, Peter's standing at the door. Shh, we're praying for Peter's release. They, she finally got him to understand what she was saying. They thought it was his ghost. Finally, they went and opened the door and let Peter in. He told them what had happened. And uh, then he went to a different place so Harry couldn't find him. When they woke up in the morning and they couldn't find Peter, Harry had all the guards executed because how else could he have gotten out unless they let him out, right? Uh, so this is a neat story where God miraculously rescued Peter. Most of the time when God miraculously rescues us, it's not this dramatic. It's things like our car gets a flat tire before the accident down the road. Or um, we lose our keys to delay us or, or little things. God just kind of nudges. But once in a while, he'll do something like this. And it's really cool when it happens. Let's sing a song. Put my little Peter down there. Jesus loves me.